go for a ride. Yeah, so. Give some shout outs before I start. Opzilla, you've been killing it, dude. Grendel's Garage, Sealy Science, Leonard, Mike Miller, Kevin Shop, Roger Stafford, My Bikes, JM Rides. They're not in any specific order. And if I left anybody out, I'm sorry. We're about warmed up. Oh, 
that, bro. Alright, this is my theory I have on jetting. This only applies to motorized bicycles. You only got one gear to play with. If I dialed mine in for flat ground, just flat ground for top speed, I would lose a little bit of climbing ability. And so what I normally do is I tune it where it's a just a cunt hair too rich on the top end. Unless, on flat ground, unless you're under load, which is like climbing a hill, and then that goes away. So basically, I keep, I mean, sometimes it doesn't force, most, like 90% of the time, on my top RPM, it doesn't force stroke. But I like to have, like, a almost on the verge of having it do that. So when I do climb hills... I can, it gives me a little more torque to play with uh, because if I dial it in just for flat ground, top speed, I'll lose a little bit of climbing ability. And obviously, you guys see that's very important with the kind of in, important with the kind of riding I do straight, straight up mountains. And um, I, uh, one thing I do wish is that was a free wheel on the back, it's just such a good set of wheels. That I'm just waiting for them to go poop or tits up and then I'll get another set. <laughs> Probably that one from Bikeberry, Dingleberry. But anyway, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the ride. We were ripping it, dude. Well, later, bros.